What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Uh, today, I'm really excited. We're going to do some uh, drone review, so uh, stick with me. We have the 4DRC uh, on the box that says Nochi Mini, uh, but I believe it's called the V9. Uh, let me just... Yeah, so it's a 4DRC V9 Mini. Um, actually has a camera on this drone, so uh, I want today I want to do a quick unboxing. Maybe we'll get a flight video, see if I can get it to take off here. Uh, but uh, we bought this on Amazon. This was $49.99. Uh, I have flown it, so it already has been unboxed, but for the sake of this video, I kind of want to show you um, what you get. So here it is, the Nochi 4D V9 Mini from 4DRC. Um, so when you open the box, uh, it comes in this actually really nice package. Uh, you get another really nice package. So uh, here you go. This is the uh, 4DRC Mini case that it comes in. Uh, this thing is incredibly small, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you'll also get a tiny little screwdriver uh, to work, I believe, on the on the blades of the prop. A very detailed operating manual. Uh, this drone does have a ton of features, so um, we're not going to get into all of them because, truthfully, some of them in a drone this small are almost useless. But um, very, very, very long. Uh, comes in different uh, languages. Uh, there's an app to download in order to use this drone functionally. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff in here, so you may want to actually take a look. Uh, it's a Wi-Fi version. You also get, I believe this is like a warranty card. Uh, yeah, looks like a warranty card. So, um, But nonetheless, let's get to the actual drone. So once you open up your case, um, I was shocked, honestly, guys, for $50 at what you get out of this drone. So once you open up your case, this is what it's going to look like, uh, as you can see. So whoa, I got props flying out everywhere now. So. Um, that's one of the things you get. Apparently, I got this thing all messed up. So, uh, when you look at the top section uh, in this little, I guess you'd call it like a mesh net, um, you're going to have two batteries. Okay, these are both batteries for the drone. Uh, let me see if I can see that. That's a drone battery. Okay, so you get two of those. There's also one attached to the drone uh, standard. So, it comes with both of those batteries. You're going to get four blades, so you have a replacement for each one of your blades, which is very nice. Um, you're going to get another little handy tool. I'm not quite sure. I don't know what you're going to do with that, but you get another handy little tool. And then you're going to get these four little prop guards. I had these on. I took them off, to be honest with you, um, only because uh, it's not that hard to fly. In my personal opinion, if you've had experience with drones before, come on out, guys. Um, these are prop uh, blade guards and it, I mean they are very beneficial if you're a first-time flyer if you're learning how to fly a drone for the first time if you've never flown before or if you're flying in flying in tight quarters um, they do come in handy because they protect your props on your drone from any kind of damage so um, I did fly with these earlier today and I did end up taking them off uh, really because it can't it doesn't store back into the package uh, with these on and you'll see that in a second it comes with a uh, little USB charger this is how you charge all your batteries just plug it with the into the wall or into your computer, whatever you want to do. You get the remote. Um, now again, I'm going to be a little harsh, but not harsh, right? Because this is a $50 drone. Um, the remote's kind of che cheesy, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, it's little. It's. I guess I didn't expect much. Uh, it is cool that it fits all phones. I have an iPhone uh, 12 Pro that does fit in here, so um, it, it is cool that it fits all of your all of your uh, your phones will fit directly into the remote uh, but pretty simple remote um, these little knobs come off uh, but no need for that and then you get to the drone itself so this thing is unbelievably small uh, let me see if I can get you so this is how it comes packaged uh, it is an unfoldable drone so you can see it has a camera underneath it right here and then a camera in the front of it right there so you get two cameras uh, but it does unfold so you just unfold each arm one by one um, they do have a Mac, so that you can't unfold them too far. They will, uh, they will only unfold that far. But that is the size of your drone. So there it is. It is incredibly small, very, very simple. Um, and that's about it, guys. I mean, it comes in a great package. Uh, 4 DRC uh, gives it a really nice package. So some of the features. Let's talk about some of the features. As you guys saw, it has a camera. So um, some of the features it does have uh, are pretty cool. It does have uh, 720. Uh, HD Wi-Fi camera. I can tell you that I've taken some videos on this uh, camera. It is not uh, 720 quality. Um, it, it's just not. I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry to say that, but um, it's not a 720. Uh, it doesn't film in 720. That's for sure. 
I haven't taken pictures yet, but it does have the ability to take take pictures. Um, it does, okay, so some of the cool features it does have. It has a one-button launch, um, which I have not flown a drone, to be honest with you guys, in quite a long time. I mean, years and years and years. So maybe this is common technology on the market today. Um, but I, I have never seen that before. So it has a one-button launch. So you push the button, and the drone actually lifts up in the air, um, which is pretty cool. And then... Um, uh, you know, I, that that's pretty awesome. It has a, a headless mode, uh, altitude hold, which is pretty cool. It says you get about 30 minutes of runtime. Uh, I would say that's with all three batteries. You're going to get 30 minutes of runtime. Uh, I'm getting about seven to nine minutes per battery um, flight time, which is great for in the house, right? Like if I'm flying around my kitchen, my living room, um, all of those things, it, it's fantastic. I mean, it, it you know, seven minutes is, is a pretty good, decent flight time. Um, but I think that's per... Uh, supposedly it has a custom path you can uh, on a map you can navigate it and it'll fly through I don't believe it'll do that uh, it does have an auto hover feature which is great I mean overall guys if this isn't a drone that you're gonna like you know take video of your home with take it I wouldn't even recommend necessarily taking this outside unless it was a very non windy day um, just a hundred percent being honest with you um, it just seems a little dicey to me to have this uh, this size package uh, with these tiny little motors outside flying around your neighborhood um, I don't think it's going to go go well, uh, but I could be wrong. I have flown it around my house. It's a ton of fun. Um, we, you know, it, and it handles well. I mean, it moves around uh, well in the air. It flies well. Uh, the camera it does take video that actually did show up on my phone. So there's a 4DRC app you download, um, which I can kind of show you now. Uh, let me see if I can turn the drone on. Yeah. Okay. So we got the drone on. You'll see the lights are flashing. Uh, here is the 4DRC. Um, there's a 4DRC app. Let me see if I can get it close enough to you for you to be able to see it. So there is the 4DRC app. Uh, you click go, and it takes you to that screen. Now, it won't do anything probably until I turn my remote on. So let me turn my remote on. And then um, it'll take a minute. I believe right now it is loading. Okay, so now it's connected. Uh, the lights are solid in the front. The light in the back is also solid, so um, that's good to see. Uh, device is not connected, so what you also have to do is you have to go into your settings, go into your Wi-Fi, and connect to the drone. So I just connected to the drone in my Wi-Fi. Uh, it'll say connected whenever you're ready. It may not because I have very poor signal. Right now I'm, in a, uh, I'm not in a great place for a signal, so, um, but we'll see. Um, okay, so now we will launch the app again. Equipment connected, and it, there it basically is just showing you what the drone is seeing in, in, on my phone. So um, it's pretty cool, uh, but I wanted to keep this review short as this is a, a very interesting, um, but let's, uh, let's get up in the air. Whoa, hello. Okay, well, she's she's off, she's off and running. Let me see if I can get it to come back here so you guys can actually see it. Okay, okay, buddy. Okay, here we go. I've never had a drone flying this fast in my face on a regular basis, so. Um, and it's definitely different without the uh, without the the prop guards, I guess is the best way to call them. Um, but as you can see, uh, let me see if I can get it back in camera here. Uh, it flies very, very well. Um, I mean, it does fly fairly, fairly well. Very easy to control. Uh, you know, it does have an adjustment button, which I'm going to have to do because it wants to keep dragging forward. So, uh, let me see if I can. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, as you can see, it flies well. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, buddy. All right, little guy. That's real close to my face. I don't like that at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it flies well. It stays in the air nice. Um, there we go. Now it's starting to stabilize better. Um, so, I mean, it's it's not the greatest. Uh, I'm flying this thing all over the place, and you guys can't even see it, but there it is. Uh, it's not the greatest quality drone I've ever seen. Uh, it's not bad. Let me see if I can record some video. Um, but it's not, you know, like I said, it's not bad, it's not great, uh, it does its job, 
uh, is a little tiny drone. You can definitely stabilize it more than mine is, as you can see mine's kind of all over the place. Um, I'm not trying to keep it that way, but uh, definitely I'm just trying to keep it in the camera's view. Definitely a little jittery right now uh, once I took the prop blades off, but uh, there it is. I mean, it's here, so you can see it flies. It flies really well. Um, not able to, for some reason, get it to take video. Maybe it's because I'm trying to do too much right now, but... Um, There she is. So it's a really cool little drone, like I said, to fly around your house and have some fun with. Um, it'll definitely be fun. You'll definitely have a good time with it. Uh, but like I said, I mean, taking it outside, I don't know about all that. Um, taking it outside and, um, but yeah, so what you'll see now, uh, now that I have it on the ground, I'll show you. So uh, basically whatever... Whatever the drone sees, you'll see. So there I am on camera. Uh, it's upside down, sorry. There I am on camera. Uh, the video quality isn't terrible. Uh, once you start moving around, it gets a little little janky. Um, but um, the one the one button takeoff is awesome. I will say that. I mean, it does literally, I mean, one button, and it, it's up in the air, so. Whoa, Jesus, hello. Okay, buddy. Um, so it is cool that it, that it is, you know, what it says it will, and it, it literally takes off in one step. Um, now it's on like an auto hover, so it's just kind of doing its thing, uh, keeping its altitude. But it is, um, man, that's really close to my face. It is, uh, it is really awesome for, for like I said, for for fun, for flying in the house. Um, oh, hello. Uh, it is really cool. It is a really fun drone. That was my fault. I actually told it to land, and I didn't want it to land, but. Um, for flying in the house, for screwing around, a lot of fun. Uh, oh, there we go. I think the battery's dying too now, probably, but um, it is a lot of fun. It is really cool. Uh, like I said, I mean, to have a camera drone and the ability to, you know, take some funny videos and pictures, like I was screwing around my kids today, um, to be able to take some pictures and some videos of some kids and your dogs and whatnot um, is pretty awesome. And like I said, I mean, I'm in a very small space, so, um, I mean... This thing is literally like inches from my head, so, um, you know, I mean, um, it, it's like that's right in front of my face. Um, it is very, very cool. Uh, I'll give it that. I'll definitely say, um, and like I said now, I can see it's kind of trying to take pictures, videos. Um, it is, uh, it is awesome. Like, it is really cool. And, uh, it flies amazing for what it is. So, so again, for 50 bucks, a $50 drone. Um, I don't really think you can go wrong. Um, see if I can land it here without destroying it. Alright, there we go. Down. Cool. So, turn it off. Uh, so there it is, guys. Uh, again, I wasn't going to make this video long. I did want to show you guys some runtime. Uh, it is a really, I mean, I'm honestly, I'm flabbergasted. I'm really excited. Um, I, I can't believe for, you know, 50 bucks to have a drone that uh, not only can take video, but can take pictures. Uh, not that I'm going to use it for that, let's be honest. Uh, I'm definitely going to invest in another drone. This, for me, was a trial run. So I'm very much interested in getting back into droning um, outside and, and, you know, just having some fun around my property. We have a big piece of property. Um, I, I really want to get out there and take some video and fly it around, teach my kids how to fly. So for me, this is really just a... A stepping stone to get back into um, having the ability to learn how to fly again so um, I, from this I'm gonna obviously upgrade to a much bigger drone uh, which a lot more features but a lot more price point you know I, I wanted to review this one um, and the battery just slides right off the back let me show you um, I wanted to do a review on this one because I, I was just I was just impressed um, I, to be honest like Amazon I'll leave the link in the description um, 50 bucks on Amazon. I mean, it was $49.99, and like I said, it flies great. It one touch takeoff. Uh, supposedly, it can do some tricks and stuff. I haven't figured all that out yet. Uh, let me show you guys how my phone fits in the in the uh, sorry in the controller. Uh, so again, I have an iPhone, uh, the new iPhone 12 Pro at the time of this video, um, and it fits. So um, that's my phone in the remote. It's very top heavy once you do that, um, but I mean, it, it, it fits. 
you know, I mean, you could control it this way and it's not a problem. I did earlier today. So very cool. Very exciting. Uh, I'm jazzed. I'm super excited to fly this thing around my house and torture my family, uh, which is kind of what I've been doing with it. So, um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the link. Otherwise, check this thing out on Amazon. It is the 4DRC V9. I believe it's called the V9 Mini. Um, but thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. And uh, adios till the next time.